If you were no longer affected by the judgment of others and you stopped judging yourself, would you make different choices? Why make choices in your life based on judgments instead of on your awareness of what would create the life and living you desire? Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on A to Zen.fm. Welcome, everyone. I am so excited to have you here with me tonight, whether you're listening in the live or you're listening in the replay. And if you are listening live, please come join us in the chat room. We have so much fun there. And tonight I have one of these women on here who are so potent and she has so much to contribute to this topic. I am so thrilled to have Danielle Carter with me. And tonight's show is what is your attitude creating with your body? And I have no idea why we came up with that subject on my show, but we will find out <laughs> shortly. <laughs> So before we get into tonight's show, yes, that's her giggling in the background. She really likes to giggle. Before we get into tonight's show, I just want to tell you a little bit about me. I am a possibilities coach, and I work with individuals and organizations to co-create the living and loving that they desire with all the possibilities available in the universe. I am an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator, an energy healer, radio show host, producer, and radio show station owner. I also Woo! build websites, do social media, and so much more. My programs assist individuals and organizations to bring more possibilities to actualization. I love creating, I love playing, and I love brainstorming. So if you're looking for more possibilities in your life, contact me, Christine at inspiredchoices.ca. While I do charge for my services, the first five minutes are always free. And if you know me, you know I can talk fast. So what would it take for you to contact me? How much fun could we have together? So that's a little bit do about it, me. Do it, do it. You'll be happy you did. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I need to get that on a recording. <laughs> so, tonight, what is your attitude creating with your body? And my guest, Danielle Carter, do you have an attitude with your body that is creating less than you desire with your body? Is your attitude good? Or bad with your body, your hips, your boobs, your toes, your hair? What if you checked with your body and its attitude? So Danielle Carter has spent most of her life ignoring her body, living only in her mind. She was a successful radio producer and TV promotion manager and was finding no satisfaction in her job. She was often heard saying the world was not a better place at the end of the day because of what I have done. She went in search for more. Through her mother's health talk show radio, she was introduced to the tools of access consciousness and right body for you and found the more that she was looking for. And much to her delight and surprise, the more included discovering her body and the joy that it could be once again. As a side effect of letting go of the energetic limitations of her life and acknowledging the consciousness of her own body, her body shifted and changed dramatically including at a height of 5'2", dropping 10 sizes in four months, using no gimmicks, just consciousness and communication with her body. Once extremely shy, hard to believe, <clears throat> Danielle has now co-authored the book, Right Body for You, hosts her weekly radio show here on AdaZen.fm, and travels the word speaking and facilitating transformative classes, including her popular Right Body for You workshops. Are you ready for your life and your body to change? Welcome, 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 Danielle. I'm so thrilled to have you with us tonight. Thank you. Me too. You're one of my favorite people to play with, and I've hardly been able to keep my mouth shut. Apparently, I didn't during the <laughs> <laughs> Well, if if I know anything tonight, it's just going to be play, 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 because you and I love to play and giggle yes. and laugh. And our bodies like it. So how does it get yeah. any better than that? I am just really thrilled for you to be here. And you have been such an inspiration ever since you decided to come to Toronto and leave your appendix behind. And and and, <laughs> and if you don't know that story, we'll tell it another time. But Danielle, I hosted Danielle in Toronto. Well, I was supposed to host Danielle doing a Right Body for You class in Toronto. But instead, I hosted her recovery from her appendicitis. 
true story, true story. And I got to be grateful for my body because, you know, my body really facilitated that ability for us to get to know each other on a more intimate level than just, oh, hi, thanks for hosting me at fun class. Right. But no, no, no. You got to help, help me hold my insides in, which was an interesting experience. Which was kind and of hard because we were giggling so much. <laughs> we were the only two people giggling in the emergency room in Toronto. Well, Talk I'm, about you know, changing perceptions of soul. Exactly. And what I really loved about the whole journey in getting to know you during that time was really looking at, okay, so what's right about all of this? And for me personally, having the opportunity to get to know you more and really to start to learn about these tools on such an intimate level, being yeah. with you, being with you while you journeyed through that, well, you'd you'd never been in a hospital. You'd never had um, medication of any kind, right? Aspirin, occasionally, does it. Right. And so really being present with you while you went through that was such a contribution to me of knowing that more is possible. So I'm really grateful to have had that experience. And, and as I've said a number of times, when I started to choose this, this body of work, I didn't have a cognitive awareness as to the why, but man, am I a happier woman for it. And my body is so grateful that I listened to her and started to choose when she, you know, whenever this would come up, it would be like, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yep, okay. Yeah. It's just and you know, and I'm, so much fun. I'm so grateful for that experience, too, because at that point I had been using the tools of access consciousness and right body for you. I'd been using the tools for six, seven years or something like that. And it was, it was a gift to me because I went into that because I knew the tools worked and I – but it's almost like I had been like, well, yeah, they're magic. And I had let the magic be the new norm without the gratitude of it. Mm -hmm. And so it was fun to see it with you because it it reignited the gratitude of the magic. Instead of going, well, yeah, that's just the magic. That's what happened. And, of course, it was like, ah, yes, and what else is possible? So, and I, so I'm grateful for my body leaving its appendix in Toronto. Um, for so many reasons. And I think we did a show on my radio, on my, my show on it. Yes, we, I think we did too. I mean, we've talked about it so much. It's hard to keep yeah. track of it all. Anyway. But yeah, it's been very cool, but what's really cool. And, and, you know, if you know me and if you've known me before, uh, you know, I've stepped into to more possibility and more ease with my life. I've had a lot of attitude in my life. I mean, people <laughs> used to, Oh my God! Here she goes. She's going to start giggling at me. Um, <laughs> uh, people used to used to say, "You got such a chip on your shoulder." I can I can hear my father saying that about myself and my sister, and and I did have a chip on my shoulder, and when it came to my body, I really felt like I didn't have any choice. I really felt like I was at the effect of all of it, and that's not true at all. And you've been really such a, an amazing guide. I thought, what a better show to do than with you it it really is so much about the attitude that we take with our bodies and and i mean i know we yeah. talk about judgment but but before that it's like before you even say anything and you were talking about this on your show today about the the underlying energy of of something yeah and i think that the attitude can be present without words oh yes well most of the time you're not going to sit there and go the thing I hate most about my life is my body or my greatest enemy is my body, you know? And it's like, we have these attitudes towards our body of the weak spot or the enemy, or, you know, I would have the type of life I actually desired if I didn't have my body. And it's interesting the things that come up. And like I said, people don't usually have a conversation about this and like, Hey, you know what? Over lunch, let's talk about what a bastard your body was last night and what it did to you. Because then I'll tell you what a bastard my body was and what it did to me last night. Wow. But we don't acknowledge it that way. But we do say, oh, last night I was really sick or I had this or whatever. And so the attitudes actually start with conversations like that. Um, you know, before access, I can't tell you how many conversations I had with friends and family. And 
without realizing it, the entire conversation was on the deterioration of our bodies, the falling apart. Um, right. This person's sick and not, or that person's in the hospital or doing this or this person's just getting old and very little was it about um, possibilities of more and heaven forbid, but possibilities of more with your body. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, this is where, and this is what this reality considers normal. I know, you know, I have, um, uh, my daughter, she's 18 now. I can remember, Danielle, when she was about uh, six years old, one day she said to me, I need to go on a diet. And I looked at her and I'm like, what? And I can tell you, honestly, I've never said that. I never, I never personally said I want to, I would say I want to eat better or I want to lose weight, but I never Mm -hmm. used the words, I want to go on a diet or I need to go on a diet. And, you know, how much is, is this attitude being impelled at our bodies so ingrained into everything as quote unquote normal that, that we don't even realize that the, the average person doesn't even realize that they actually have an attitude with their body. It's actually, if you're not judging your body, so many people look at you like, excuse me, uh, do you realize that you should lose weight? Do you realize you should be eating better? Yeah. Do you realize you should be exercising? It's like, what the hell? And and my favorite is like when the judgment comes in the form of a compliment. And, you know, and what I mean by that is like, you know, with, in this adventure with my body, I've lost weight, I've gained weight, I've lost weight, you know, whatever it is. And I really... I really don't have a judgment of how it should be. But what's interesting is like, I'll go to these, uh, access consciousness has these classes. And I remember this one lady coming up to me and it's supposed to be a compliment, but the energy was, you know, a bitch smack, uh, <laughs> judgment. She comes up and she's like, Oh, I just think it's amazing. And I'm like, what? You know, and first when she said it's, I think it's amazing. All the hair on the back of my neck stands up because my body and I are like, what now? And she's like, I just think it's amazing how just self-confident you are to be able to walk around in those little dresses you wear. <laughs> what? I'm like, thank you. Oh because she's God. like, the, the, and talk about attitude. Cause she was, basically she was telling me that you shouldn't have that much self-confidence because you don't have the perfect body. And the fact that I was like, running around and climbing on tables and, you know, not hiding or moping around that right. it was bad or not bad, but it was something to be admired because well, it I was, should be sulking or whatever. And I'm like, well, it's amazing like, that somebody with that body would actually yep. dare do that. Yep. Or enjoy myself for heavens, right? I should right. be sulking in the corner because I don't have the perfect body. Please. What's the perfect body? I've yet to find one. Right. Well, you know, I think the perfect body is the one that you have that you can enjoy. Pretty much. Right Right body for you. Yeah, right body for you. Well, I feel like this is going to be a continuation of your show today. So if you did not catch today's show, the date of today is September the 2nd, 2015. And I can't remember the title of your show, but I'm going to have it in three seconds. Um, Why is my body listening? (laughs) Why is my body? (laughs) Why is my body not listening to me? So you can catch the replay of that on uh, Danielle's page on AdaZen.fm, and it's going. It's it was a fabulous show, and it's interesting because today there's been a number of shows talking about bodies today. So how does it get any better? I love it. Oh, I love it. And I just came off a meeting about bodies and the body classes. So it's fantastic. The bodies are screaming. The bodies are demanding attention. And I'm so grateful. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. What is this world going to be like six months from now with all of our bodies saying, pay attention to me. I matter, too. So I'm really excited. We're going to go for a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to continue this fabulous conversation. If you would like to get to know a little bit more about my amazing guest, Danielle Carter, you can go to Danielle, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E dot com, or you can go to Danielle Carter dot access consciousness dot com, and you can see all the places and spaces she's going to be in the world. We're going to talk about that when we come back from break. And we would love to have you play with us and ask us some questions. 
you can join us in the chat room at a to Zen FM along the top bar. Just click on the chat room button and come play. You can also call in in the U.S. 815-880-8255. In Canada, 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at a to Zen FM. And just imagine asking Danielle Carter, the right body for you coordinator and one of the most potent women in the world about bodies, a direct question, could that actually be a big contribution to you and the attitude you have with your body? We would love to hear from you. Stay tuned, and we will be right back on AZ.FM. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show. Being visible, being social, being heard. What desires are you ready to create? Would you like to take the next step to creating a potent presence on the web? Would it create more possibilities and expansion in your life? Beingvisible.ca offers website, <laughs> social media, radio show creation, and more. Creating with consciousness, bringing the energy of you to your audience. Are you ready to connect with your audience clearly, regularly, and with ease? Christine MacGyver and Carol Glover work with individuals and organizations to create a powerful presence on the web. Personal attention and one-on-one -on -one training creates the ease with expanding you. Are you ready? Connect today at beingvisible.ca. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine MacGyver. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S., 815-880-8255 Talk or Canada 613-800-8736 Or you can Skype us. Our Skype name is a2zen.fm You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. You are here tonight on InspiredChoices.ca. Oh, InspiredChoices.ca. Oh, my God. Inspired Choices Radio Show with my wonderful guest, Danielle Carter. And we're talking about what is your attitude creating with your body? So, Danielle, when you hear the word attitude, what pops for you? Point your sister song. <laughs> Sing it, sister. <laughs> uh, well, you know, and for me, you know, when we first talked about this with attitude, like what attitude does your body have or what attitude you have towards your body, I'll be honest, the first thing that was coming up that was my awareness of everything was the places where um, there's not actually a lot of words to it, but people usually do this. They usually go, ugh, bodies. Like do you have your hands on your hips and is your is your head going left to right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who's ever done that. But, you know, I do, I, I find that a lot. And it's really interesting. And what, and what also is interesting is people so much project that attitude onto their bodies. Because, um, you know, I talk a lot about a communication with your body, um, you know, a back and forth, a communion. Yes. And one of the things I hear the most is, I don't want to listen to my body because I don't want to hear what it has to say. Because we have this point of view that our bodies mad at us or going to scream at us <gasps> because of all the things we've done for it or, or not done for it or done to it. When what's, <laughs> actually, what's interesting is it's actually our attitude because our body doesn't have a point of view like that. It's just like, hi, you want to play? What would you like to do? Oh, you want to set yourself on fire today? Okay, we can do that. You know, it's, oh, you, you want to take it out? We could do that too. But, but we, so it's interesting that people have this, well, my body has an attitude. No. You know, yeah. Well, as soon as you said that, some something went off in me because, sorry, I'm trying to gather all of this. It's <laughs> like I can, I can see myself waking up in the morning and going, okay, there's the mirror. 
<laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> and kind of gathering my strength to look yeah. in the mirror. And it's like, okay, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. Good morning, buddy. <laughs> is, is, does she like me today? Is everything going to be okay today? And it's like, that is crazy, Danielle. So you were saying something today along this line where our bodies will just create, but you said it in such a way that it dinged differently for me, but our bodies will create whatever we are asking with no point of view about that. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's like bodies can have, let me say up front, bodies can have a preference. Um, but they don't actually have a point of view. A point of view is something like solid and that it's a decision, it's a judgment. It's like this is the only way it can be, period. Uh, whereas preferences are more like, hey, you know what? For me to really feel good today, a massage would be great. This is your body talking. Great. And you go like, we don't have time for a massage today. And the body goes, okay. Preference is malleable. It's changeable. Um and so with your body, your body doesn't actually have a point of view. And what's funny about this is we talk when we talk about the attitudes, and as I've been getting to know bodies all over the world, um, as well as the infinite beings, you know, I might as well throw them into the mix. But as I've been getting to know these infinite beings and their bodies, it's amazing how the bodies are very similar to the infinite beings. Because my body tends to be sarcastic and has, you know, a sense of wicked sense of humor and likes to laugh and kind of bubbly. And you look at it, it's actually kind of me. Um, and so, and some people who I see with like grouchy or nothing ever changes, nothing, you know, is possible, their bodies tend to be like that, tends to be sick and tends to not um, even be less flexible physically less flexible. So it's interesting. It's like, so how much of the point of view and judgments and attitude that we think our body has is actually just our, in us, the infinite being, our mm-hmm. point of view. And, you know, and I saw this a lot when I first started with Access and Right Body for You. I was living in a 55 and older community. Um, I went to go take care of my grandparents during the last few years, years of their life. And so I was in the 55 and older community and the people who as I talked to the residents, the people who were like, they might have said things like, oh, what else is possible? But they were willing to look at things differently or ask questions or go, oh, well, that's interesting. You know, well, what the, what would this be like if we went over here? Tend to have had healthier, more flexible, literally flexible, like, you know, shuffling along the walk. Flexible mm-hmm. could actually walk or move versus the people who are like, life sucks. Right. They were, they were, physically um, uh, couldn't move, you know. And Mm -hmm. so it's interesting with this because, um, you know, kind of how, yeah, you're right, it's kind of an extension of the show I did today. It's like what we're, because our body has no point of view, it will give us what we ask for. So energetically you got to be aware of what we're asking it for. So if we're giving it attitude, it'll be like attitude, guilt. Or inflexibility, I can do that, okay? If you're inflexible in your attitude and you're inflexible in your judgments and your willingness to change, I can be inflexible and we won't walk anymore. Cool, let's do it. So, yeah, so so what is kind of coming up is like, is the body actually mirroring? Like we, we talk about looking in the mirror at our bodies, but the body is actually the mirror of our attitudes, of our thoughts of our choices it's just mirroring everything that we are giving out to it yeah yeah it's mirroring is in a way and yes and there's an interesting energy that comes up with that okay um well i think i honestly i think just because people have such a this reality is a mirror of who you be or something like that and so I think there's a weird stigma with that. But yeah, okay. it is a mirror. But it's also it's it's it is a creation. Um our body is our creation. It is giving us exactly what we ask for. Um it's representation. It's more like it's it's a representation 
of what we're asking and even our attitudes of life. You know, life sucks, nothing's going to change. Right. It, it, you tend to have a body that represents that point of view or that attitude, yeah. as we say. So, yeah, so it's like your body is a representation of your point of view and judgment. So mm-hmm. what if you had no judgment or point of view? What would your body be like? It's really interesting. I love this because I'm, I'm now looking at, you know, two people in my life and um, my my parents and both very active people. My father, you know, God bless him, he passed on 30 years ago, but he had an attitude about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. My mom, and he created, you know, he was he was quite overweight. He created heart problems and different things like that in his body. And my mother, on the other hand, she was always, I think you've probably heard this from me before, she was always like in the kitchen. You know, I'm the ninth of ten kids, so she was cooking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but she'd be in the kitchen singing. She was always singing, Danielle. Yeah. And and it's not that she didn't have tough things in her life, but she she had this very like go with the flow attitude. Mm-hmm. And my mother is 91. She's going to be 92 in January. And you truthfully, if you met her today, you would be how old is she? You know, she she really moves and and creates in the world as if she's still in her 60s. She still drives. She still is like I look at her and go, my mother has not changed for thirty years, <laughs> and she is happy. She is generally a happy person. It's just really interesting to look at that and just to see how much the attitude is showing up in the two of them, right? Cool. Yeah. So, do we have a clearing for all the people out there listening going, oh, shit, I've had a really shitty attitude with my body, and it's my fault, and now I really even don't like me because I did this? Do you have a clearing we could help? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm so glad you said that because, yeah, you know, because this is about awareness because it's not even necessarily about getting the right attitude and then sticking to it. Like your mother, it was always fluid and go with the flow and what's coming up and how can we change today? Um, And so it's not about judgment, okay? I cannot say that enough. It's not about telling you you've been doing it wrong because you know what? You've been doing the best with the tools you've had. And now that you're getting these different awarenesses, what would you like to choose, okay? So... All everywhere, all the places and spaces where we are using judgment and attitude as the divination and stance for creation of our life and our bodies, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate that, please? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, but pocket, nice, worst, boys, and beyond. I have no idea what I just said. I can hear you. You said I'm so I great. did. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I was not going to miss this one. Everywhere, all the places and spaces where we are using judgments and attitude as the div- divination, divination? Divination, and, yeah. Divination and stance for creation of our life and our bodies would be willing to destroy and uncreate all that. Cool. I like that because the divination, because we use judgment to like this reality tells us to judge what's right or wrong and then we could go from there. And it's like, and how often with, you know, just like at the beginning I said with the attitude, she, you said, do you have your hand on your hip and you're moving your head? It's like it's a stance we take in life. Mm. You can't get me. Look, have a, yes, you have a chip on your shoulder. Well, you can't get me. Or this is my attitude. This is who I have to be to survive and all kind of stuff. So it's like this is why this. I think this is a fun process. Everywhere, all the places and spaces where we are using judgments and attitude as the divination and the stance for the creation of our lives and our bodies, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. Cool. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, my church, boys, and beyond. Oh, that, feels, fun that feels fantastic. That's a fun one. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing and creating with you. And I am so grateful that you showed up in the world um, and you were willing to be all of you. 
um, you know, you carried a lot in your in your thoughts about your body and your willingness to change that has created so much for so many people in the world. I just want to I'm, I'm going to get all cl- the clapped. I'm just really grateful for everything that you, you've done. Your willingness, you know, it's it's the people's willingness in the world to show up even when it's uncomfortable. Those are the people that have changed other people's lives, and you are among one of those people for sure. So I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Well, thank you for – I've not had my willingness to be uncomfortable acknowledged, but no, I mean, that's great. Thank you. Yes. I <laughs> I, I hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And if you're willing, if you're willing to get uncomfortable and you're willing to change whatever it is in your life and your living, your body, your bank account, your relationships that you desire to have changed, please connect with Danielle, connect with myself, connect with so many amazing people there that are using these tools that we refer to. Because there are people all around the world that have this. Literally the world. Yeah, that have this massive desire to be a contribution, to change what wasn't working for them for other people. And all you have to do is reach out and say, hello, (laughs) could I have a contribution? You can connect with Danielle Carter at Danielle.com. You can also connect with her DanielleCarter.AccessConsciousness.com. You can connect with myself, inspiredchoices.ca or Christine McIver.accessconsciousness.com or just go to accessconsciousness.com and search wherever you live or whoever pops for you and reach out and ask. You don't know the change that could be waiting if you would just ask. And what contribution would you then be in the changes you choose for the others in the world also seeking? So I just really invite everyone that's listening, please, just if this sparks anything for you, please reach out to whomever pops. So we're going to take another break. When we get back, we're going to continue this juicy, thick subject about attitude. Because I don't know what you're talking about, girl, but we have some (laughs) attitude up in here. So we are talking with Danielle Carter on Inspired Choices Radio Show on AtoZen.fm, and we will be back shortly. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show. What if you really do change molecules by your interaction with them? What if the change you've been looking for is right before your eyes? What if the uncomfortableness that comes with difference could be fun? What if the closed-minded people of the world no longer determined our world? What if gratitude trumps judgment every time? What if your kindness healed the world? What if the earth is asking for your help? And what if you had the resources to give it? This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Picasso, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Aristotle all knew to be true. Hi, my name is Dane here. Thirteen years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. What if there are no dumb questions, or any question too large? What if you being you are the gift and the change this world requires? Is now the time? For more questions to create a change in your world, sign up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. My gift to you, beingyouclass.com. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255, talk, or Canada 613-800-8736, or you can Skype us. Our Skype name is a2zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. (laughs) You are listening to Inspired Choices. I am Christine McCover, and I have Danielle Carter with us tonight. And I think she wants to actually sing for us. Danielle, did you want to (laughs) sing? It's just every time you talk about attitude, I hear the Pointer Sisters, I got a new attitude. <laughs> Come this way, just that one phrase keeps going over and over and over. <laughs> so what would it take for us to actually get a new attitude, Danielle? 
<laughs> I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> Did you just set me up? <laughs> no, I think I set myself up. <laughs> Join us in the chat room. No, I was looking at my other screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, if you've never joined any of the A to Zen shows in the chat room, please do. We have a great time. And the producers, I have to say, Christine, you have created one of the funnest radio stations I've ever been on. And I've been on a few. <laughs> and just the producers you have, starting with you, it's just so fun. You guys are always there in the chat room con- contributing. So, you know, oh, let me acknowledge that. Yes, yeah, I, will, I will acknowledge that. I will receive that. And yes, the the women, the women who I have, Carol Glover, Keisha Clark, Rioa Fortner, and Cara Wright are amazing. They are so they are attentive. They're playful. They're willing to be vulnerable, and they they interact. And I know that you know they're grateful they have these jobs and how much they receive from being on these shows. <laughs> It's like a university and a job all rolled into one. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm looking at this. I'm in control. My worries are few because I got love like I never knew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got a new attitude. I love it. <laughs> and <laughs> I know. Don't quit my day job. I better at talking than singing. I, I get it. Um, I just need another drink if you're going to continue. <laughs> funny is I loved how like when you were you know in this whole thing about new attitude and stuff like that you know when you were reading the my bio at the beginning I'm like I haven't actually heard it or read it in a while and so as you were saying that and you got to the point where you know it talks about how I used to be shy and everything and you're like whatever and you know for me it's like you know, some people could almost say shyness was an attitude. It, because attitude is not always like, um, you know, that chip on, on your shoulders, chip yeah. on your shoulder, the hands on the hips, the face, chest jutted out like, can't get me, get me. For the reason I keep going to the 50s with this, I don't know what that's about. But um, it also could be like, the, the the that's why you talked about in the process the stance you know it's like oh I was shy I was reserved I was just sitting in the corner or not making a splash or not really talking a lot even in groups or whatever and now it's like I don't shut up and for, so you talk about what gets a new attitude and for me honestly it started with embracing ah, sorry embracing is, isn't even the right word it's a, it was about getting out of judgment of my body you know in we throw this word judgment around a lot, mm-hmm. and judgment is not having a point of view, not using the rightness or wrongness to become aware of things. It's just becoming aware of it, whatever it is. And so when I started, what I mean by I started getting out of judgment of my body is I stopped using the rightness or wrongness, because um, rightness and wrongness is also an attitude, really, if you look at it. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I was... I ate good today or I ate bad today or my my body had a good day. I had lots of energy, so I should do that again. Or, you know, I I stopped looking for the rightness and wrongness. Instead, I was just aware of what was going on for my body and what was going on for me and what was going on for me in regards to my body, basically what I was talking and telling my body. And basically I figured out I was telling my body it was a piece of crap every day. That I wasn't grateful for it, that it was it, literally, that I was the weak spot of my life. It's like, if my body was better, I'd have the man I wanted. I'd have the life I wanted. I would have the social life I wanted, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And it was, once I stopped looking for the rightness or wrongness, I started actually perceiving what would allow my body to change. But what was cool is I also stopped having the rightness or wrongness of that it had to change. Mm. And what's interesting is just getting out of that point of view of that it had to change is what actually allowed it to change. It's really... Okay, say that again. Getting out of that point of view, please. Getting out of the point of view, the rightness or wrongness, that my body had to change, that I had to lose weight, that my body had to heal, that my body had to be anything other than what it was, is actually what allowed it 
to change. Because the second I took a right point of view or a wrong point of view of like, oh, well, yes, I have to lose weight. Then it became resistance and a solid in my body and my life. And with that solidity, I didn't actually allow the change to occur. And so once I um, got out of that, I actually allowed it to occur because when I didn't have the rightness or wrongness of it, what would actually change it, I allowed to come into my awareness. Because, you know, we mentioned briefly, um, my mom was a nutritionist, and I did a health talk radio show with her, a weekly health talk radio show with her for 27 years, (laughs) every Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people talking about their points of view, their judgments, their attitude about what would change the body. Okay, but I never seven actually... years? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that just landed. I'm sure you said that to me about 50 times. Yeah, <laughs> it's a few shows, right? <laughs> a few shows, a few amazing people. Don't get me wrong, they were amazing. I called them my mother's experts, and they were amazing people, but they all had like, this is what would change the body, and nothing else could match that. Um, and so once I got rid of like, well, this will change it or this won't. This worked, this failed. I actually, instead of going to an outside source, I allowed my body to tell me what would actually allow it to change, okay? Mm-hmm. Because when it, if I'm right or wrong about it at all, then it doesn't allow possibilities of what would create a change to come in. Did you say 14, 1,404 shows? And I have most of them on paper on CD or MP3. It's really interesting. That's hilarious. Well, you know, when you were talking about um, the attitude and not allowing your body, what one of the things that I have done is, you know, as my body has been changing and, yeah, it has been, it's been growing, it's been getting bigger. And it's like, you know, I was definitely in massive judgment about it. When we were, we, Danielle and I both just came back. You didn't cop an attitude about it. <clears throat> yeah, I had a massive attitude. Absolutely, I did. Yeah, I know. That's why this show popped for me. Um, So when we were, Danielle and I just came back from a class in Costa Rica, I know, hard life to take, in the beautiful, beautiful surroundings of, oh my gosh, that country is gorgeous. And, you know, I very much was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to wear? And, you know, people are going to be in the pool. And I did all of that. And I'm just like, okay, stop, stop. Like, you know, just really checking myself with what the automatic would come up. And there's so many times that I would stop actually living and doing what I desire based on the judgment and the attitude I had of my body. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm not doing that anymore. And I went out horseback riding the one morning. It was the most delicious contribution, so much joy, so much ease in my body. Uh, We were riding at 6.30 in the morning in the rain, and I had a permanent smile on my face (laughs) the whole time. The things that my eyes got to devour and my body receiving in every pore of the gorgeousness, the joy to be carried by that beautiful animal. And I I can't find all of the words to describe for you how much joy I had and I really had this like oh my god I'm going to be too heavy for the horse and all these insanities Uh huh. you know and I just I'm just cherishing the pictures of being there in those mountains and down in that valley and standing in that creek it was phenomenal and then to come back and go swimming in the hot springs every night and the last two nights I was actually <laughs> alone and I was skinny dipping the last two nights and my body is like it's about time, bitch. No, she, she was just like, she was so happy. And, and I'm like, why have I been doing, you know, and it's really, I have been creating more and more of what I don't like because of this attitude. And since I've stepped out of that and I'm just like, I'm choosing what's bringing me joy, even when it, it makes me uncomfortable, my body is showing up even more 
more happy and, and and I'm creating it differently now. I know that I am. Yeah, you are and and these things change fast. And and what I love is like the less you judge your body and have an attitude towards it or have a point of view about it, the less you actually get judged or have attitudes by other people. And what was so what I loved is like so you stayed two more days than I did. Mm-hmm. And so the day I was traveling back and um, you sent me a picture of you laying by the pool in a bikini. And you and your body were just so yummy. And I'm like, five days ago, I'm not going to do that. But it's okay, like changing you all just, that. Image. You just massively cut out. <laughs> Why? Because I'm acknowledging you. Hello. I, I think so, but I really want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what was cool is you and your body laying there with such ease and such yumminess and absolutely no judgment that you would actually send me a picture, which, you know, it's out into the electronic void. It's out there. You would not have done that the prior five days. And so I just think it's amazing how fast these things can do, change. And, it's, yeah. you know, what? your body was yummy. It was just I, like, it's like, oh, it was so happy. It was radiating the contribution from the earth and the horse. And so you, yeah. I think we forget that we, the infinite being, are one of the greatest contributions to our body. And what are we contributing? Attitude or gratitude? <laughs> I like that. Oh, that was good. <laughs> That was at what 46 are we minutes. To our body? Yeah. What are we contributing to our body today? Attitude or gratitude? That's great. I love that. I'm going to, I'm going to capture that in a sound clip. Um, what, what I really love, what just popped for me when you were saying this, is we are actually, we're, we've been so ashamed of our body, and we've been hiding our bodies away under all this clothing or, you know, I'm not going to choose that. I'm not going to go rock climbing and I'm not going to go camping. I'm not going to do things with my body and the bodies actually like to move. I'm not going to do whatever it is that I'm, I can feel my body asking for. And, and we're shaming, we're, we're ashamed of our bodies and we're hiding them away. Like, can you imagine if our bodies were a small child and we said, no, 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 you're too ugly. We need to put you in the closet. We need to cover you I can up. Imagine that well. Pardon? I said, unfortunately, I can imagine that well. That was me. That's that what you were doing. For, yeah, that was me for a long time. I mean, it, it's kind of it was kind of ironic to have a mother who was a health talk nutritionist, and I hated the fact that I had a body. I I was the big girl in my family. Now, get this: the very first time I ever said I was the big girl in my family. I think I was a size, like, five, and I was five foot two, but all my sisters and my mother were under five feet tall, so some of my family I had six inches on, and so I was the big girl at wearing a size five, and wow. they were double zeros, and I'm just like, I look back on that, and I'm like, are you kidding me? But that's the attitude I started giving that was big girl. And so I started getting getting weight, getting weight, getting weight until I was like a size 20 or more, you know. And it's like, so that was me. And I was hiding, you know, how you talked about you didn't want to go horseback riding because you'd be too heavy or whatever. I had fear of rides. I didn't learn how to fly a plane because I was afraid I wouldn't fit into the cockpit. And all of these interesting things, which was far from the truth, but it was the attitude that I had. Um, and then, yeah, when I started having the gratitude for it and getting out of the rightness of wrongness, wrongness of it, it changed. I actually allowed my body to change um, and, and, and give me what I was asking for. So, you know, what are you actually asking your body for? So is it is it actually allowing our bodies to give what we've been desiring, but what we have not been asking for? Because yeah, see, that's, a, that's one of my favorite questions. It's like, do you have the body you asked for? So it may not be the one you desire. Right. Because, you know, like I said, you get up in the morning and you go, okay, there's the mirror. Um, and then you get in there and you're like, hi, body. The underlying point of view is, crap, still didn't change overnight. Great. So true. And, and I can tell you. Energetically, so. Right. And I can tell you that it's not that case today. It's like I wake up and I go, hello, beautiful. 
how are you? And, you know, and I talk to my body and, and I ask my body, what would, what do you desire today? And what I'm really getting more and more of, and I just, I'm so grateful is, is, is that we are here co-creating together. And when I see her as, as someone who adores me and I adore her, we can do anything together. And, you know, I'm so grateful that I have this amazing, strong body. I brought two beautiful children into the world. My son, by the way, was 30 yesterday. Yep, I know. I, I don't look a day over the 40. Anyways, um, <laughs> I have my body. One body. of us believe that anyway. <laughs> my, my, you know, my body has done so many amazing things in my life. And I am so grateful for everything. It's just, it's, I definitely have a new attitude and I am thrilled to to be in this place in this space and excited to see what else is possible. And speaking about what else is possible, you have some amazing events coming up and I want to yes, really yes. highlight those because how does it get any better? So, Danielle is going to be in Houston, Texas. Um September the 25th through the 28th doing Right Body for You and Right Body for You facilitator taster class and there are no are there any prerequisites for this class? For the two and a half day workshop, there are no prereqs except having a body, which, you know, I can't even really say that because beings and bodies show up all the time or without bodies show up all the time. Um, but yeah, basically it's just come and bring your body and we have a good time and get out of your own way, basically. Cool. And then the facilitator class, which is amazing class. That's on the yeah. Monday, and um, you get to then facilitate these amazing uh, half-day classes and really create something new with bodies, with business, with anything that you desire. The tools are phenomenal, and you get a manual, and you get recordings of all of these days, which is fantastic. And then yeah. we have the 30-day. Um, can you talk about that? That's coming up in October. Yeah, it's 30 days of nurturing for you and your body. So it's a tool every day, communication from me of a tip, a tool, a trick, an MP3, something to help you actually nurture your body and nurture you in your life because it's such a symbiotic relationship. So it's like if you nurtured you and your body for 30 days, what would your life be like? Wow. <laughs> Just changing that. I know, right? So I, I am so excited. And I do hope you guys join us for that or join us for the workshop in Houston. We have a great time. We laugh, we giggle, we change points of view about bodies and money, bodies and not. bodies it's very and serious. It's very food, <laughs> eating. I know. I never have any fun. I never laugh. Oh my gosh. Daily. Except all the time. So yep. the um so the uh the teleseries actually begins October the fifteenth fifteenth through November the thirteenth, and that's anywhere in the world. So how does it get any better? Um I am so excited to see what else you're gonna be creating in the world and what other awarenesses we're going to be having show up with all of the amazing bodies. So please everyone connect with us. I would also like to share with you that if you would like to connect with me, I have some Amazing Foundation Level 1 class is coming up um, in King Carden, October the 2nd, in Sudbury, October the 15th, in Maydock, which is just outside of Toronto, in November the 5th, in Cambridge, November the 12th, and in Toronto, November the 19th. So how's it get any better than that? And I have a bars share every Tuesday night here at my home where we get to connect and play and see what else is possible. So reach out. Reach out. Yeah, go ahead, Danielle. I was going to say, and you can go sit on the couch that I got to recover on. I have a special relationship with the couch, but I'm willing to share for bar straight. <laughs> yeah, I actually had to get, you know, the, the couch's <laughs> approval. And, you know, it's not Danielle. Is that okay? My couch really loves her. Every time we Skype, she looks over and they have a communication. I'm like, really, you guys? Really? <laughs> it's true. She's not even kidding. <laughs> I am so I'm so grateful for you people please connect with Danielle check out all of that she's created next week I've got a special show coming up it's why do I still feel like shit after all these years with my amazing co-host Rhonda Burns we're going to have a good time see you then <laughs> thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices radio show Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time 7 p.m. Central Time 6 p.m. Mountain Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on A2Zen.fm We hope you'll join us Until then, have the best week of your life by making the choices that bring you all that you desire